Ohio basketball is 5-1 and one to start off the 2013-2014 season. Posted an impressive win over Mercer on Tuesday night at the Convocation Center. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Bobcats. 76-67 the final score. Mercer out of the Atlantic Sun. Won their regular season title last year. Hosted their tournament. Lost to Florida Gulf Coast. Went to the NIT. Beat Tennessee in the first round. They're picked near the top of their league again. A lot of good basketball folks know about Mercer. So, this is a pretty good win. Ohio was down by nine in the first half. Led by nine at halftime. And then had a big lead of 20 in the second half. Ohio did good work at the foul stripe, too. The Bobcats were 27-32 to 32 from the foul line. Ohio had four and double figures paced by the double-double machine that everybody's in love with, Maurice Endor. 23 points and 11 boards. John Smith, back-to-back -back good efforts for him. He had a career-high 17 against Heidelberg. He was one rebound away from a double-double. 16 points and nine boards. Nick Kellogg tonight had 12. And how about the effort from T.J. Hall? He had 11. All in all, very solid work tonight. They were strong with the ball and possessions at the end of the contest when they had to be on the offense and defensive end. And thus, it's a 5-1 and one record to start off the year with a nine-point win of the Bears. Here's how it looked and sounded. Willis, after the timeout, gets it into the post to Endor. Worked free of a defender. Low on the right-hand side. He banked it in. Wilkins back to Taylor over to the right side. 15 to shoot. This possession's going nowhere. Taylor takes it upon himself. Runs down the lane to the goal. Banker, no. Tip up, no by Smith. Tip in by John. Hallelujah. Ohio's third made bucket tonight. Left of the paint. It's Nuwamu. Fall back from the Mac logo. Back iron, no good. Endor just ripped the ball away. And here comes Ohio into the front court. Ripped it away from Moten. Into the post, a two-hand rim swing for John Smith. And Ohio's on top, 32-25. Taylor retreats. Calls for a little patience. Hard screen set by Endor. Double team on. They throw it to the screener. Endor shoots from three and buries it. Puts that baby for Endor. And a 10-point lead for the Cats. 35-25. Johnson works up to the point now. Drives down the lane, kicks Taylor. Corner left, Kellogg. Ball fake, got his man up. Right back to the point. Taylor for three. Bang! For Stevie Taylor. 18-32 to go for the ball game. And Ohio's on top by a dozen. 42-30. Johnson up to the top for Ohio. Taylor left wing. Penetrate left of the paint. Now to Johnson. Ball fake. Drives into the color. Hands it off. Endor for a two-hand dunk. Johnson got popped on the mouth. And then he's still in the presence of mind to get it to Endor. And he's in a great deal of pain. Timeout Mercer. Over the inbound. Looking, looking. They get it to Endor. Baseline left. Hand off Taylor. Wing left. Ball fake. Now he works against two underneath. Smith back to Hall high on the right. Left side. Kellogg jumps up a three. Book it for Nick. Ohio is on top by 15. Biggest lead to the ball game right here. Now to Johnson, left hash, left wing. Johnson at the top, Taylor right side. Holds it low behind a Smith screen. Stops at the foul line. Underneath the line, scoop with the right hand on the left side. Yes, sir. Ball fake, left wing Leonard. Now he steps to the left, shoots a three. No good, too strong. Rebound Johnson, and Ohio wins over Mercer. Final score, Bobcat 76, Mercer 67, Ohio is 5-1 on the year. And add this one to the list of impressive wins to start off the 2013-2014 season. A couple of big stats from the ball game tonight. Ohio just missed one free throw in the first half, 27-32 from the foul stripe in the ball game. That was huge, and that offset 5-20 of shooting from three this evening. They also out-rebounded Mercer 42-30, to a ball club that lost by three to Texas and did post a nice double overtime win over Seton Hall earlier in the year. What this does now is it adds on to a growing list of good mid-major victories. Ohio hopefully could get one more coming up against Evansville on Saturday. The Purple Aces are picked in the middle of the Missouri Valley. Ohio already got a Valley win this year over Northern Iowa. We want to see you at the Convo coming up on Saturday as Ohio tips it off against Ace Purple's crew at 2 o'clock. Our radio network pregame starts at 1.30. Be a good one to get. It'd be lovely for Ohio to get to 6-1 and one to start off the year. Bobcat football plays against UMass coming up on Friday. That's big because Northern Illinois, if they get to the BCS, there is a potential if Ohio wins over UMass on Friday, maybe they could go bowling again. But you got to get the win first. It's senior day. 
These seniors have done so much heavy lifting in their career. Hopefully you're done with your shopping early and those leftovers as well. And we'll see you at Peden. Our radio network airtime comes at 1 with the kick at 2 as Ohio brings the curtain down on the regular season against the UMass Minutemen. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We all have so much to be thankful for, and we're thankful for you, the best fans in the MAC. Ohio wins at 76-67 over Mercer. For Tanner Smith and Tony Ermain, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.